My name is Brent Bessler. I'm the agronomic service rep for West Texas. Uh, we're actually here at the uh, Grow More site here in shallow water, uh, Texas. Our Palmer amaranth out here is very significant and, and can really produce a, a massive amount of seed bank. So if we're not controlling those weeds early in the year, uh, it really sets up some problems for going into the following year. First group 15 herbicide comparison we wanted to make was looking at dual magnum at 1.33 pints per acre and then comparing that to our com local competitive standard in warrant at three pints per acre and you can see that these treatments were applied on bare ground um, one application in this uh, this plot you're looking at at about 56 days after application and you can really see our pressure that we have in our running checks with both our palmer amaranth and our barnyard grass and you can see as we get further out into the season uh dual magnum really did an effective job of controlling both our annual grasses and our broadleaf conversely comparing that to warrant you can really see our our both our palmer amaranth and our broadleaf grass really breaking through there as we compare that to another chlorocetamide outlook which is a popular uh, herbicide used out here you can see yeah it did a fairly effective job for the most part of controlling our palmer amaranth but again as we get out further into the growing season you can see that our annual grasses our barnyard grass uh, is really starting to break through there. Uh, conversely, comparing that to the dual magnum, again, uh, really did an effective job of, of reducing uh, our grass seed population and certainly controlling the weeds later into the season there. What we really want to focus in on this this chart is really looking at that soil half-life, that ability of that herbicide to stay longer into that soil later into the growing season. And certainly as we compare that esmetolachlor to other chlorocetamides, you can see there that esmetolachlor dual magnum has a 48-day soil half-life compared to acetochlor at 16 days and then dimethinamide at 29 days. And this really focuses in on the the cost per day and the certainly the return on the investment that a grower is getting for that herbicide certainly with the espitolachlor to be able to stay in that soil longer to provide that that residual control that you need later into that growing season and certainly uh, again the value that that grower sees in a in a particular residual type herbicide differentiated property that we really see with esmetolachlor and one reason why we feel like we're getting two to four weeks of longer residual control versus other chlorocetamides is when we look at that water sol solubility of the esmetolachlor and, and certainly esmetolachlor is a moderately soluble type herbicide so it really has a nice balance in in terms of being able to have that activating potential and certainly being able to stay in that weed so seed zone long enough to get that later season uh we control both in both your grasses and in your small seeded broadleaves and giving you that that better control uh later out into the season again a value that a grower really looks for in a herbicide as he's looking for that for that season long control well it, it kind of goes back to really having that two pass program starting clean staying clean uh, if a grower really puts out a, a very good pre-emerged herbicide like a sequence, like a tavium, like a caprol, which is really very important for our geography down here, uh, and then coming in and overlapping that with a post-application uh, herbicide such as tavium vapor grip technology, uh, sequence, um, those, to me, it's all about starting clean, staying clean, overlapping those residuals and making sure that, the, to me, I've always said, the best weed you can control is one that never comes up. And if you can do that with overlapping residuals and, and keep them from being a problem, uh, you're a lot further ahead of the game than wait until you have weeds already up and you're trying to control them uh, when they're post-applied. And a lot of it's about time. Mm -hmm.